Okay, guys, so now I have that APX device and I will try to install the driver for it. I already got my APX driver from previous uh, case when I uh, was trying to fix OG2X. I will try to use the same driver. what I got from uh, fixing LG2X. Here I choose NVIDIA USB boot to recover a driver for mobile devices. I got that notification, I press yes. I hope it's gonna work. Windows has successfully updated your driver software. NVIDIA... Okay. This is good. Let's see. Where is it? It's here. You can see it. Okay, next step I will try to flash... Uh, custom ROM or something like that because I cannot boot the device yet. Hello again, now I get a new package and I will try it. This package called P880 in the Flash Tool Recover Tool. So I found it on the internet, let's see what's gonna happen. Okay, here on the as you can see I got back finally I spent I don't know how many hours on that I got bootloader uh, fixed and now I have downloading mode again back and which I am very happy with this so next I will try to flash it with something, let me think about this. Hello guys, here I have bricked LG Optimus 4X model P880G. The screen stays black and uh, when you connect the phone to the computer it will show you APX device. So when you install the driver for APX device you will have this and we USB boot recovery driver for mobile devices. And now I will try to fix it. I found the package on the internet and it's the name of this package P880 in the Flash Tool Recovery Tool. So I will run it and we will see what's gonna happen. <coughs> so I launched the command line and I went to the folder where I have everything. Now I will run batch file.
Okay, here we go. Actually, I came back to the previous state. I had that issue be before. When I flashed from rare for the Videotron, that phone went to bricked state. So I need to figure out what I'm gonna do next. But for now, you can see what you actually can fix your phone when it's stuck on APX mode. So to be continued.